It's like everything fell apart in my life. I did not know anymore who I was. And the blueprint that I had for myself of my life disappeared. They went up in fire. So I didn't know anymore who I was. I was lost, lost in myself. And I was involved in an accident. In that accident, my friend went to the hospital, was seriously hurt. I felt extremely guilty about it and I could not stop my mind anymore. I could walk to school from where we lived. We lived in the city. I was passing the courthouse. And one day, there was a car that stopped. There was a police car, a large one. And they guided somebody out who was chained. That touched me deeply. How terrible it must be when your freedom is taken away from you. I felt crazy because I couldn't stop my mind. I was in a situation that my mind had built a sort of cage around me. It was all about sorrow and worry and anxiety and fear. I couldn't get out. I was in a jail. Then I decided to go to a monastery because I needed to get out. What I learned in meditation is that you cannot grasp anything. You only can wait till it comes to you. The better you are in waiting, the easier it will be. The big stuff comes to you. The, 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 the true stuff, the important stuff comes to you. You cannot force anything. And if you accept that, that makes life very simple. I've been meditating for a far longer time than I've been painting. But when I started painting, it was like finding a way to express myself. This was the way I, 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 I had to paint. I, I, that's the only way I could do it. I'm not into copying stuff or creating a painting of a house in, on the fields or a Texas bull with long horns and horses and cowboys and Indians. That was not my interest. I had to get something out and, and, and actually like this. So my painting has helped my meditation and my meditation has helped my painting. They, were, they became friends. There are Zen masters who say, meditation is enlightenment. Just being in that moment is enlightenment. So it's not about getting somewhere, it's just about being here. That's what life is about. So I sit down in front of the empty canvas and I wait till the painting happens. I'm not painting. The painting paints itself through me. So the painting happens. We are awareness. Awareness carries it all. Well, I never imagined I would live in Texas 
I would live in a kind of barn-like house with all these dogs and cats and donkeys. That has never been my dream. My life happened to evolve into being here. And to my great surprise, I like it, I love it, I want to stay with it. But here, my life here with myself and with Henriette is so much about being and being here. The place has become a relaxation in itself. I can die here. I can stay here for the rest of my life. That's good. That feels right. Is that essential? My name is Gert Johan Manschot, and I'm a painter and a meditator.